Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a really long time since I have uploaded to this area. Um, I hope you've all been keeping really well. Uh, a lot has happened in the last three years. I think the last time I uploaded was lockdown. So I think we had a lockdown fishing film and, excuse the birds, a lockdown fishing film and then bait making. I think I did a pop-up making at home and I think that was the last films I uploaded before I stopped uploading to YouTube. Um, I think, so I stopped uploading I think for a couple of different reasons and honestly my fishing was good, I just wasn't enjoying it as much as I should have been. Um, I don't know if anyone else felt the same during lockdown, obviously there was a lot of restrictions anyway, but it was just so busy, which don't get me wrong, was great to see because it was good for the sport. Um, but yeah, it was a lot when you was restricted how far you could go. I didn't have a venue that I really wanted to target. It was the first year that I didn't really have anywhere I wanted to focus on. I think that's what made it so difficult was because I'm so used to having a target water um, and I didn't have that anymore. And so I just wasn't really enjoying it. Uh, so yeah, I kind of just stopped filming. We did a bit of fishing, me and Jack. Jack is still around. Um, and yeah, we just didn't, we just sort of jumped from here and there and fished where we could really uh roll on three years because that's how long it's been i'm now on a syndicate water and i'm loving my fishing so i thought why not pick the camera back up and try and show you some of the um of our trips and a bit about what we've been getting up to so that's kind of the plan really um like i said a lot's going been going on for the last three years uh, myself and Jack are still together, so I'm sure he will pop in the video at some point. And we're fishing on a syndicate lake, so we've been part of this syndicate in Essex since 2021. So it'll be my third season on here, and I'm really enjoying it. We've not done a huge amount of fishing, um, but I mean, the fish we've caught in the trips that we have managed to do have been great. And I thought I'd quickly start the video by just showing you a couple of my favourites, and then we can jump into the rest of the trip and hopefully catch a few fish which would be delightful um, I know we've got a bit of rain coming up so hopefully that'll switch them on um, we'll see so yeah my favorite fish I've got a few um, it would start off I've got my phone just so I've got pictures so I can remember what ones um, let's see so I've got a fish called discus I had that was at the beginning of my trip in 2021 I've actually caught that fish twice same rig, same swim, same spot, everything. Um, apologies if you can hear the geese. It's the first time ever we've had geese on this lake. We've now got geese and six swans, which is a lot of birds. Um, so yeah, so discus was a really cool fish, my first fish from this venue and a recapture. Uh, and it's just a bit of an unusual fish. Yeah, there's not really else to say about that other than it's a very unusual fish, but I'm very pleased with it. So there was that one. And then roll on through 2021, I had a nice hit of fish. I had quite a lot of mirrors. I think I had one common, the majority were mirrors. Um, I think most of them were in the 20s, so you know, good fish. Uh, and then last year was the year for me. That was the year it really kicked off. Um, I started the year strong with a PB of 28 pound, but I knew I really wanted to catch that magical 30. I still hadn't had a UK 30. Um, and I just wanted it to happen. And I, I knew that at some point it was going to happen because there's a good stamp of 30s on this lake and so I knew at some point it would happen and it did. It happened about this sort of time last year. Uh, we came down and the lake was so busy and we sort of just had to slot in wherever we could and I actually think I prefer when we have to do that because then I don't really get given a choice. Sometimes the choice is really difficult. Um, so yeah, so I slotted in and Jack slotted in another swim. And in the evening, Jack had a fish called Festa. I think it was 36 pound in ounces. I can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, so he had that one and I was really pleased for him, but I was also gutted because it was his second 30 from the lake. And I was like, oh, I'm really pleased for you, but when's it my turn? So yeah, I was pleased, but a little bit gutted. And then literally an hour, two hours later, my rod went off and I had a 30, another named fish called BB. Uh, was 35 pound and I want to say six ounces let me just double check that yeah 35 pound six so it was at night um, really lovely fish was really pleased 
Uh, I think it was also on a homemade pop-up, which you, you can never beat that feeling of making something black your bait and then catching on it. Um, I always get a little buzz when I catch on my own homemade. So yeah, that was a bonus. Uh, so yeah, that was a really, really enjoyable trip. And then a few weeks later, we came at the beginning of May and I had a blinding session. It was one of my best sessions I've had here and everything just fell into place. Um, I was fishing the same swim I caught BB in and it was a swim previously I hadn't really fished. It, got, it gets quite weedy and I wasn't the most confident in weed. I'm used to big gravel pits. Um, and so I kind of had to conquer my fear with weed a little bit. I found some spots and when I turned up, they was actually on top, so I surface fished for a while and nothing really happened. It started to rain and I thought, Do you know what? Normally I would have spent all my time surface fishing and I thought, no, I'm gonna put my rods on the bottom ready for when this evening it cools down and hopefully I'll catch them. And it was quite shallow in that swim. And it paid off, I, it paid off making that decision. It paid off fishing in a swim I wasn't overly confident in and kind of chasing my, my battles and defeating them with weed. And I had five fish in a trip, which was incredible. Um, and there was a nice mix of during the day and at night. Um, and I even managed to catch BB again. It was just before spawning, so I think it had put on, it was 36.10, so it put on just over a pound since I caught it a few weeks previously. Uh, again, same swim, same rig, same everything. Um, and I was chuffed, because yes, it was a recapture, but I now have daytime and nighttime pictures. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with that one. Uh, so yeah, and then five other fish, which I'm sure will be popping up on the screen for you now, but I had a common, I had a, I think I had a lever, a mirror, two mirrors and BB. So yeah, really, really productive trip. And then after that, I had a few more fish and then I finished my season. Um, well, the last fish I finished the season with was in September and it was a fish called Baza, so another named one. So that's three named fish now that I've managed to catch, which are good because I want to tick them off. Um, and that was 29 pound and four ounces. So just under 30, but again, it was from a swim I hadn't caught from before. I'd done quite a few trips in, I hadn't caught from. And so, yeah, I was really, really pleased to add that one to my little list. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited for the year ahead on this lake. I We sort of changed our style a little bit. So we now do, we just do Saturday nights because we were coming down on a Friday, doing Friday night, Saturday night. and. It wasn't really worth it. Everyone else fishes Friday night and by Saturday afternoon, everyone's gone home. So we adapted our fishing to Sue and I think it's really paid off. Um, we've been trying to do after work trips, you know, Wednesday night through to Thursday early morning coming home and it's really paying off. So I am looking forward to the year ahead. I know we're going to do a lot more time in um, and hopefully I can get a couple more of those fish ticks off my list. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pause now and I'm just going to share any footage I've got. I know I've got some footage on my phone of when I caught BB. Um, and if I find anything else, then I'll, I'll, up, I'll upload it here. So I'll pause and let you watch that. Ready? Yes! 35.6. How big, darling? I think it was 35.6, but the adrenaline is quite big, so I can't really remember right now, but Jack can confirm if I'm wrong. It is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It smells like seal. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a productive two years, um, and I can't wait to share the rest of it with you all, and hopefully having the camera back out might entice the fish to come out a little bit more. Maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy these videos. Like I said, I will carry on showing you the rest of the trip now and hopefully we can have a few and I look forward to sharing it all with you. do some phone cam so if the quality is rubbish that's why it's chucking it down 
it hasn't stopped all afternoon. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I'm up to about grabbing my camera out. I have seen a lot of fish sort of in the main body of water. So I put a zig on one um, and then I'm just having to move about with my other two rods. Jack has just moved to swim and well I say just about half an hour ago now he's moved because he saw some fish in the swim sort of just down from me um, and he had one within five minutes so you would have already seen that I think beforehand um, but yeah it's 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 not nice at all yes I'm just getting myself some rigs sorted I'm on the old multi rigs um, with a ever faithful High impact pop up, pineapple, my, one of my favourite pop ups. Um, so, yeah, I'm just getting drenched and then sort the rods out. And then hopefully, I'll have something. But it's looking promising because the fish are moving about loads. So, fingers crossed. Okay, so a quick morning update. Uh, it's been a really productive trip so far. Um, uh, you had one yesterday. Yeah, 19-4 linear after moving swims in the rain, after seeing a few fish show in a bay behind us. It was a, a wet move, but within five, ten minutes I had, a, had the fish on the bank. Yeah, so you probably would have seen a bit of fishage of that already, but um, yeah, really nice fish. Uh, and then last night, the lake just came alive really we saw so many fish out in front of me and there's like a section where it's sort of in the middle of where sort of everyone's furthest point so no one can quite get to it um and they were just all over there uh so i moved my rods around while jack was sorting himself out i moved myself about i put a zig on for a bit because they weren't really jumping were they no, they were just coming up to the top and rolling, not really coming from the depths, were they? Yeah, so I put a zig on for a bit, but they didn't pay off. So I refraded my tube in, which was hell. <laughs> and then I put another multi-rig on and I had three out there. And then this morning I woke up and I just said to Jack, like, I can't believe we've not had one because there were so many fish and we've seen other people catch. Um, and then, yeah, about half an hour ago, I had one, uh, a nice l lever. Would you say it was a lever? Yeah, a nice lever. Uh, it was 22 pound and 14, so I was pretty chuffed. Um, and yeah, we've got a few more hours to go now until we head home. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to have another one each before we go. But if not, I'm pleased. First session back of the new season, so I can't be yeah. bad. I don't think we've, we've done, how many trips have we done this year? Second. Second trip of the year. And then our last fish we worked out yesterday was both in September. So yeah, it was needed. <laughs> Um, actually, it's not my first fish of the year. It's not your first fish. No, float fishing, etc. Aren't we? Well, so we've done <laughs> a float fishing trip. I've done a pike trip with my dad, where I had a pike, um, and then we recently went to Cornwall and we did a bit of sea fishing and we caught some mackerel. Um, and I had a sand eel and a weaver, which stung me. Which stung him. <laughs> so yeah, it's not the first fish of the year, but it's the first cup. Um, so we're chuffed and yeah I think that'll be all for this trip now that you'll see unless we catch something else so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you could subscribe like comment all of that stuff um, and we will see you soon with another one so yeah see you soon <laughs>